Rob, I have here a pile of 20 cent coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Mm -hmm. Now if I place them in a neat pile, and then if we look at the coins in front, a five cent coin, two cents, 10 cents, one dollar and 20 cent, you'll notice they get bigger right. left to right. Which of those coins in the front standing on its side would be the same height as the height of the pile of eight 20 cent coins? Oh, well, um, the 20 looks a bit big. Uh, it's got to be that or that. Um, I would say that. I'd say the dollar. The dollar coin. Hmm. Let's check it out. Stand it next to the pile of 20 cent coins. Oh, coin. mine was too big. Sure is. Must be the 10. You think it's the 10? Let's check that out. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's too big, too. Too big. Uh, what about the 2? Well, we'll try that one. Surprisingly enough, that is also a little too big. Well, it can't be the five. That looks tiny. It does, doesn't it? But when you stand it up next to the pile of eight 20 cent coins, you find <laughs> that they're exactly the same height. It's amazing how difficult we all find it to compare vertical heights with horizontal distances. Try this. Have a look at the tallest building in your town or city and imagine that it fell over on its side. How many house blocks would it take up? And after you've guessed an answer, Ask some people about the actual distances and heights and check it out.